so it'll follow you and let you tape yourself and it picks up your voice here remotely and it um, records it directly into your iPad. So at first, like with the iPads, if you try to take a video, you have to prop it up or somebody has to hold it. Yeah, like and it'll fall over and it won't get the whole thing. Probably two of the main ways iPads are used in lower school right now, um, to access to information and then enrichment kinds of things. Let's say I want to move over here now. It moves. And then if we want, if we're like really low, we want it to move down. And this would help us with video making for yeah. school if we were to do a documentary. Yeah. Have to. <laughs> um, so first, these are all my materials over here. This circuit board, these three wires, this USB clip, and put it in here into the computer. And then I take this great clip this black clip. Turn this over. Younger and younger it seems like I'm seeing kids where it's not just that you have to keep up with one kid but younger and younger it seems like it's just such a seamless part of their life that we better keep up because they're already integrating it in their life so easily. This side of this gray wire, this circle that says space, this red alligator clip left or that shows left arrow. And I'm going to take two of these carrots. So the more uh, they can have a choice in how they produce things and be creative. When they have multiple tools at their fingertips, then they can be even more creative. And I have that one in. And this is my ground wire. And if I touch the carrots, it doesn't do anything. Now, if I touch this ground wire, it makes the bongo sounds. From this black wire to, to this end, to my body then to the carrot, and then around the gray circuit or the red, into the circuit, which goes into the computer, and the, cu the computer's programmed to make sound. Starting in kindergarten, they really start using things as a tool and an alternative for products. So they type things, they're starting to be exposed on how to save, how to copy, how to print, but then also using the latest technologies, like 3D printers. How does it know what to make? What do you guys think would be neat to make? Uh, a robot. A robot? Yeah, there's things called an Arduino. And so it's basically just the circuit board which you can plug into your computer and you can program stuff. Our whole world is technology. I think it gives you tools to become spider smarter, but it doesn't necessarily make you smarter unless you use it to become smarter. Giving them options in creating projects. For example, with space, one of their final projects is designing their own planet. And so this year, we're really hoping to use that 3D printer. And if they would like, some of them can then design and print off a 3D version of their planet. If you want to make something, if you have like a dream idea of something you want to make that no one has ever made before, you get on the computer and then you can design it. Design any one thing. So uh, my cousin, he got me this uh, robotic arm. This has four axis robotic arm that I can control with the Arduino, which is pretty cool. Now we have like this opportunity of, well, the internet you can find almost anything on. So now we have it right in front of us and the opportunities are endless with that. But it has in the top of my head, so yeah. you can look inside my head probably. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Woo! The brain goes in there, right there. Well, I remember last year in fourth grade, they were doing their ecology projects, and um, one of the girls was studying this garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean, which I had never heard about. And she was just showing me sights and pictures and things. I mean, just to, just to see what they can just so quickly and easily go to, look at, and gather, that really helps improve their learning. You know, expands what you could have ever done with any of that. Here it goes. I'm gonna make her colorful. Don't fall! <laughs> you look happy. <laughs> it looks so <laughs> heavy. And then it's like holes in my head. So it like has like the color on the plastic. Well, let's see might be. It's just awesome. It's there are so many different possibilities with that. It's like 
It's basically a canvas and a paintbrush, except the interface is technology, and you need a different skill set to use it, which is, it's just awesome. So Lockdown if you like really decided this was the best picture of Olivia ever made, we could print it on the 3D printer, and, and it would it have would. the 3D, and so we'd have a little 3D Olivia to carry around if we ever needed extra Olivia. Yes. Yes. Little 3D Olivia. Yeah. Woo! Fun. This one little thing that's brand new, no one has ever thought of before, could be an evolution in our world, and I think that's what students at Sycamore like. I want to be probably something in medicine, like a doctor, a surgeon, or something like that. I want to do computer programming, maybe as an engineering, or, um, well, my mom's an architect, and I like the stuff she does, too. So you can be creative, you can do stuff for the better good of your community or mankind or whatever you're trying to help. Amazing that this is just all just happened in the last couple of years. I just get all these ideas flowing and I just need to keep on doing it and I can't put it down. It's almost like watching this movie that's like a thriller and you just need to see the end result and you just can't wait to see what it looks like. You just have all these pictures in your mind.